Hey guys, welcome to Warhammer Wednesday, and on this episode, we are going to be playing a brand new game for us called Adeptus Titanicus. Uh, I think this thing came out, uh, Adeptus Titanicus, the Horus Heresy, maybe in 2018, I think. Sounds about right. Yeah, like and so this is the Grand Master Edition, and it simulates battles between the uh, large uh, epic titans of the thing. And one one of the games that I thought was really fun back in the day, uh, at least I would play with, I was too young to really play the rules, but uh, Warhammer 40,000 uh, at epic Warhammer 40,000. Yeah. Where you have all the tiny little guys fighting each other and shit. And uh, this is kind of a throwback uh, to those days. In fact, there was an older Adeptus Titanicus game, I think uh, maybe in the 80s or something. And this is kind of an update on that. So yeah. just massive titans battling back and forth. Now, uh, Games Workshop uh, is going to be putting out a new game right. called... Yep. Uh, Legion Imperialis, Imperialis. Yeah. which will use these miniatures. Right, in and they'll this use scale. they'll use the Adeptus uh, Aeronautica miniatures also. Yeah, Adeptus and Aeronautica, and Aeronautica, their other specialist game. Yeah. This specialist game, Adeptus Titanicus, and then they add infantry in the Horus yeah, Heresy, just like the old. So it's not you 40k. About. You don't get all the alien races, right, which right, I right. was hoping for. But I will take a 30k, yeah. a epic 30k. Right. So in preparation for uh, in Legion Imperialis, I thought we'd go back and we'd play uh, Adeptus Titanicus and uh, see how it is, give our opinions on it. Yeah. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that now. So we've set up a meeting engagement here. Uh, I am the traitors. Yes. Down with the false emperor. <laughs> Jay will be playing the uh, the loyalist. The loyalist. Boo. Yeah. Right. Even though I'm wearing the shirt that says Emperor yeah, Protects. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe I should have been. You are the traitor. I am a traitor. Okay. So. And uh, so we're, we're playing at about. Um, 1,200 points. About 1,200 points. A little yeah. less than 1,200 points just to get our feet wet and learn the game. Yeah. So we've already done that. And I think it's pretty cool. Pretty innovative. So, so far, of what I've seen, uh, I'm liking it. Yeah. This, this game uses these little cards here. And as you can see, each Titan has a little command card. So here is your reactor, so you're managing sort of your uh, heat. And then here's your shield, so you manage shields. And then here's your hull points for your head, your body, your legs. This is critical hits. If any of those areas take critical hits, then you start to degrade with different effects on how you degrade. This is pretty cool. And then you can customize each of your big weapons by these little cards. And uh, so, for example, on my Reaver, I have a Volcano Cannon, a Missile Rack, and a Gatling Blaster. Though I could have switched it up and, and made a completely different set. So, I like all this customization. While I think the card itself kind of looks boring, yeah. we've already played and the information is really good. It's very simple, very clean and yeah. clear. All the pertinent information is on there that you need to track on your uh, Titans. Exactly. So let's go ahead and, and uh, get started here. And um, we, what's cool is you draw, you roll two dice that gives you two objectives. Right. And they're secret from your opponent. Right. I, I don't know if I've played another Games Workshop game like that. Yeah, not where the, the opponent doesn't know what you're trying to do. Right. Which is, I, I like that, it's kinda interesting. that little uh, caveat So, so we discarded one. I've right. got one. I put it face down over yep. here. I Jay's got mine got over his here. face down over there. Now the game will run six turns. So Maybe. Maybe six could, turns. Oh, it could, uh, a it could end sooner, yeah. between four and six. All right. So let's go ahead and roll to determine uh, first uh, player. Our D10s. Yeah. D10s. Five. I got five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Reroll. Six. No, Seven. nine, actually. Uh, six or something? Nine. It looks like a six. Yeah, yeah, of course okay. it looks like a six to you. But the right. dot says I win. So you want to give it to me, right, to go first? Nope. No? Okay. I am going first. Just asking. Just asking. All right. So uh, how does the uh, turn order work? Well, we start with a strategy phase. And in the strategy phase, you can issue orders to each of your yeah. little... Um, There's another order die right there. Yeah, I need another order die. Uh, if you want, you can issue orders to your um, Titans here. 
I think I will attempt to issue an order to my Quest Taurus support banners. These little guys way the heck over here. And I'll have them, uh, I'll attempt to order See, full stride. They only give us six order dice. and We, we probably need eight. Yeah, in in the box though, we this was something we hated. There's only one reactor dice and one hit location dice. Yeah, and then and you need two. You need two. Yeah, yeah. so that kind of this is a two player starter, and they only give you enough for one player. One player. Yeah, we hated that. So I'm gonna uh, do that now. In order to issue a command, you need to roll higher than the command skill. So for the Questorus. It's a six plus, and then I can make them go faster. So they already move at what? What's their normal speed? Yeah, what? Their normal speed is 10. Oh, wow. So actually, I don't think, and it doesn't have a it second. It doesn't have a second. No, yeah. so I can't do that for them. Okay. Okay. They move well, what they move. We won't. They move what they move. Then I won't, I won't issue an order. Well, let me think about this. Because we need to make the map to where people can move. Easily. Um, hmm. mm. Let's do full stride for my Warlord Titan. Yeah, full stride for the Warlord Titan. Uh, and uh, full stride cannot attack in the combat phase. That's that sounds shitty. Well, now I don't want to do that because I don't want to. I want to be able to attack. Son of a gun. Yeah, so don't issue order. No worry about it. Yeah. All right. None of us are issuing orders then. Yeah, I'm not. All right. We pass up the order phase. I want the orders to be a little more impactful, but well, I mean, small they modifiers are. when you get stuck. I in. think. In the beginning of the game, you're not going to worry about the orders too much. But once we start getting into it, we started to use the orders a lot more. And I think that's probably what they're more meant for is in the middle of okay. of, of doing stuff or, or being able to uh, All right, movement phase. Here do we go. other things. So uh, these Questorus support banner guys, I think they're free to move however they move. Yeah. I think they have to stay kind of grouped. Um, I'm not yeah. sure about that. I'm going to hide them behind this building here so that those guys can't shoot me immediately. Yeah. Um, that's it for that movement. Your uh, move. Alrighty. So now we alternate. Yeah, I do like to alternate. So move um, these guys here. Movement and combat and stuff like that. That's okay, from here to here. Keeps both players a little bit more engaged. So I'll remove the Reaver. Actually, the Warhound. I'll move the Warhound. I'm going to move him 12 because I'm going to try to push. So go ahead and roll Reactor for me. Uh -huh. Let's see what, what you get on that. Reactor. You got one Reactor. One Your reactor. Reactor's heating up by one. Yeah, it goes up to a yellow. So I'm gonna take them up I here. I love alternating actions, definitely. And then I'm gonna turn them, just that one small, small, small 45. 45, yeah. All right, here you go. Okay. Um, let's do the warlord. Let's do the big boy. And they move at a rate of four. A four or six. Four or six. Well, I could push them for six. Or I can it's go early. Four. You can push them. It's early. I'm going to go four. And then... Uh, so right now, I might have to go six. Yeah. So that I can get a little bit six, I could only go over one inch. Yeah. If I go over one inch, are we gonna have some blocking terrain between well, us? I would say so. All I right, mean, even now, I think we're kind of. No. 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 Yeah. No. 
Just okay. one? That is a Ooh. special result. The machine gods machine potentially spirit. take over. But first, I need to... So that's called... Uh, so because the pilots are sitting in there and they're like melding their minds with the fucking machine, uh, sometimes the machine can kind of fight back a little bit like and ghost rise in the shell. up to the top. Like Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. Uh, you make a command check, and if you pass it, you're good. And uh, on the Warlord, I need a five to pass. So You're I good. pass. So I'm yeah. good. We're good. But you still uh, heat up your reactor. No, the by Warlord's a three plus. By one. The Warlord Titan. Oh, Command three plus. Yeah. yeah. All right. So with that, I can get a little bit of uh, cover. Yeah. And then we'll we'll say it. We'll turn it. Mm. Nah, we don't really need to turn it. So we'll just leave them here. And... Uh, we're good. All right. I'll do the same. Um, go ahead. Roll. I'm going to push it to you. Push it. Nothing. Nice. No heat. So he will go up his six on his four. Whoa. Yeah. You can't. Six. You can't do that. You can't move like that. Yeah, you can't. You no, have you to can't. move straight. You have to move straight, or you have to angle your Titan. Well, you have to turn your Titan and then be, move. Yeah. So I would turn and then turn him back. Tur you can have two turns? Uh, with uh, this, no. I can have yeah, you one, can have two turns. I could have two turns for pushing it. Two maneuvers? Okay, yeah, cool. Because I pushed it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do the Reaver Titan now. Now, if we look at my Reaver Titan, he can do two maneuvers or three if I push it. So, I think I only need two maneuvers. Now, I, can all, I can go six inches or nine inches if I push it. Mm -hmm. Let's do What is this? Okay. That's the small here. Yeah, that's the one the smaller ones for the war. Warhound. All right. Well, first we got to go forward. Uh let's say um 3 and you're pushing this one? No. No. I'm going to go three, and then I'll turn a little bit, and then go another three. All right. Done with that movement. All right. So my reaver next, I will... Go ahead, push him to go his nine inches. Okay. Pushing him one heat. Okay, I'll get that in a second. There. There you go. One heat. And I'm good. Here you go, my friend. Okay. Let's do the Warhound speed eight. This call is difficult terrain, so yep. it's double to move through. Okay, if I went twelve, I would end up there. So let's let's just go our normal speed of eight. Um, so how far away is it from there? To get up to the edge. Yeah, that's what I would do. But first, I'm trying to see if I want to do that. Yeah. Okay. I, I let's see. I'll go eight. So there's three inches to get up there. Yeah. So you got so five left. It gives me five left. So two and a half through. So we'll go two. And we'll just stop basically in the middle of yeah. it. And 
That's it. Cool. And these guys, they move at a 10. So they're going to ball out and get, get up here. And we're assuming that they could just kind of move the way they yeah, want. Yeah, I think I think that's. If we want to look it up while we do. Yeah. This stuff. I'm okay. sure they can. I mean, that's how I would run it anyway. Yeah, for the smaller things like that. All right. Now we move on from the. Uh, it's that was the movement phase. Now we go to the damage control phase, and me and Jay think that this is kind of an awkward placement for the yeah. damage control phase because you're Definitely. like. Definitely. After you've already taken hits, you're buffing up before you take other hits. Right. It feels better maybe at the end of the phase. Or in my opinion, this is just a phase that's like... It's stretching I, the game out. It, it stretches the game out. Yeah. It should be in order to repair your ship like right. in Battlefleet Gotham. Right. Um, and you do that in the strategy phase. But who knows? Maybe it's there for a purpose. So damage control phase. None of us have taken damage, so we don't need to alternate but back and forth. We could try to um, still roll... Yeah, see, for and that kind of slows down the for, game, right? Because right. every plasma that we did, we can roll to try to get rid of. Get rid so of, do you right. want to do that? Yeah, I definitely want to do ah, that. Ah, shit. All right. Well, then, in that case, uh, I'll go first with the Warlord Titan. He used one heat, and he needs to roll. Or no, how does it go? Yeah. No, it's four servitors. Yep. So you go how many little uh, dudes you have aboard to help repair. So four little skull guys are repairing so you can and in order to drop vent yep. you need four and above so i can vent once i can vent twice but i only vent i only generated one heat so right. now i'm back up to full okay and i won't do that with anybody else because nobody else generated heat yeah and now i see why uh jay just said fuck it i'm gonna generate heat because in my first damage control phase i can vent Correct. pretty easy uh, right. so uh my warhound, uh, warhound, just got two inventor. So warhound, he, yep. he comes down. Convent. And Warlord. then my reaver, my reaver. warlord didn't, didn't take any. Yep. Yeah. So reaver, uh, he's good. Comes down. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, so that is the end of the damage control phase. Now we go into the combat phase. Again, it's another alternating, starting with the first player, which is me. So I'll take the little token here. Um. All right. Let's see. How, uh, give me all the warlord cards yeah. since I'm firing first. You're gonna fire the warlord first. Potentially, okay. I need to see what this does. So first. we've got that's your carapace, and then each arm. All right. So. Yeah, and that's a that's the other thing. They only give us enough weapon cards for basically that one person. Really pisses me off. Like yeah. I, I can understand sometimes a dice limitation. It, it bothers the hell out of me. Yeah. But when you don't have paper cards and there's only one copy of the, especially of if the weapons. Yeah. If you have multiple starter, there's two. Yeah. There's yeah. two titans in the so game. I should have four of those. There's two warlords in the game, so we should have four, and yeah. we only have two. It's so stupid. <laughs> what the hell? That's not cool. And and this is the Grand Master Edition, yeah, it's the big, which the we paid big boy. extra to get. All right, so silly, this silly, this silly, big silly. guy has Apocalypse Missiles and Bellicosa Volcano Cannon. So Barrage Carapace paired. Let's do... Yeah, because it's two of them. So yeah. I don't know what paired Might means. Be, Let me look you, you what paired look means. It up. Yeah, you I'll look, look up. Uh, barrage and look up paired. Barrage was, what was that? 38 to 39. All right, so I guess I'll fire the Apocalypse Missile Launchers at the Warlord Titan. Warhound. Uh, Warhound Titan. And we check a uh, line of sight. If there was buildings in the way, it goes off of how much you can see. So if this Warhound was obscured by 25%, negative 1. If it's obscured by 50%, negative 2. But it's not obscured by anything, so we just go off of my normal ballistic skill, which is 3+. plus. So bar Barrage is um, like indirect fire. Okay, and what is indirect fire? So you don't have to see that. You don't have to be in line of sight. You can just pop it over oh really yeah but it's a minus two and then what was the other one the it's other a minus one? two to do that yeah 
What? Because you're not looking. And the other one is paired. Real. Paired. Uh, let's look at that. Paired. Sometimes Titans carry pair of weapons. And we'll save to fire together at the same target. Check line of sight. Each of these weapons is a brute. Okay, so if, if by chance um, only one of those weapons was in line of sight, then you would half of your dice. So you could still fire, yeah. but that's paired? That's a yeah. weird pair. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Firing my apocalypse missile launchers at your Warlord Titan. Warhound. Warhound, I keep saying it. So three pluses, so only two of them miss. Oh, wow. The other eight hit. Cool. Uh, so that's eight shield damage. So these Titans are massive. They all have shields on them. Uh, so a Warhound has approximately, I think, three shields uh, yeah. that he can sustain before it gets knocked out. So three so ups. Three and above to block it. I blocked them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at that like smile. That. Look at that smile. It's pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, that's a good block. Son of a bitch. All right. Oh, you can shoot the big guns at me now. Now, now I'm gonna die. Well, that was shitty. Um. Yeah. All right. The volcano cannon now because I still gotta get through your shield. So six. Um. It's definitely blast hit. five traits blast five. So it's just a, a template. Yeah, but you. Mm, no, in this case. Blast. You still got to shoot it. Yeah. To hit it. Yeah. Or is it like a scatter? No, it's not a scatter. Before rolling to hit with a blast weapon, place the blast weapon uh, on okay. there. Okay. So, there. There. Does it hit anything else? No. No. All right. Roll to hit is normal. If the roll is successful, the marker is not moved. All right. The, mo the hit is successful. Yep. Uh, so, I guess you just make a normal shield roll. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you, you want to fire that after you've lowered the shield. Yeah, no. Hey, that one went through. It went through. Or at least it knocked one down. Knocked one of your shields down. Well, you got another one. So fire the other one. You got two of those. Oh, two volcano cannons. Yeah. Uh, Miss. No, nothing. Miss. All right, well, that was a disappointment. Damn, that war Warhound MVP right there. Give him, give him an award. Juking and uh, dodging. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. That was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, alternating actions, uh, Jay. So All right, you so choose who you want to go with. Let us go with. What's the what's the? Let me see those cards um, for the war warlord. The range on that is and there's okay. Oh, it's a plus one. Accuracy. Halloween was good. Ice Trooper. Watch some scary movies. Let's go with that. Uh, our warlord. Let's do him too. Jet boy, thank you for subscribing. Not have my. I'm gonna shoot at your war, <laughs> war, uh, warhound. So, if I can, let me see if I can. Let me see if I've got this. Yeah. Jet boy. Actually, those are. Damn, that was 11 are. minutes ago. And nuclear oh, caliber. Hello, Thank you. How can I help you? And Dr. Da Dr. B's. Oh, Thank you. Oh, wow. Jet Boy, nuclear caliber, the Dr. B's. Oh. I actually had this on uh, off my fault. It's on now. So oh, hello, that Trevor. is your firing arc for you? those missiles. They go straight ahead hello, like that. How can I help you? They go, this goes straight ahead like that. So I have... All I right, well, in order to make that yeah. possible, I would have done But it says you could 
do awesome. indirect with them. Thank you to Dr. Beast. So I don't have to be. Right. You can go in negative two to shoot anything. Yeah. Well, it still says you have to be with indirect. You have with a barrage as long as the target is still within range and firing arc. Okay. Which is kind of kind of messed weird. up. It just goes over buildings. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that. I think yeah. apocalypse missiles could it's yeah. a balancing thing yeah, like I guess. Um, so yeah, I guess I will I will not shoot him at this moment. Let's go with the reaver, I think. Yeah, let's go with the reaver. Um, we'll shoot him at your warhound. Yeah. You've got the cards for the reaver, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So Gatling Blaster, do you want to fire your warp missile? Yeah, let's do the warp missile first. Okay. Because that'll go through the armor no matter what. Okay, warp missiles are uh, one dice. One dice, right? One dice and at long range or short range, 20 inches, plus one accuracy. Oh, nice. I think that might be within 20 inches. Yeah, it's within 20 inches. All right, so plus one to your accuracy. So I need a two or, two or better. Yes. And I roll a four. So that hits. Uh, warp missile support rack. Uh, strength X. It's carapace limited one warp. Oh, that's that. Yeah, it's the one, one where you roll. Yeah. So. Okay. So, uh, roll. If an attack weapon warp weapon hits its target, make a location roll. Here we go. Yeah. You hit me in the body. All righty. And now roll a d6. Two. Two. On a result of two to three, the target loses d3 structure points. All right. You lose uh, two. One two. and two. Yeah. Yep. Two structure points on my body. One, two. Yep. Got it. All right. So that was, that's it for that one. Next is the is it Gatling, right? Gatling is six dice. Uh, short range is eight inches. You're out of out short of that. range. Yeah. So six dice. Threes. Uh, that's five hits. Yep. Five hits. Uh, my shields are at uh, three Four, plus. Yeah. Uh, so two, three blocks, two get through. Uh, get through. So I lower my shields by two. Yep. And then my last weapon is a volcano cannon. Yep. One die. One die. Any any pluses for range no, or anything? No. Plus. no. So three hit. Oops. Three to hit. Hits. Hit. Let's see if the shields can hold. The shields do hold. <laughs> six. All right. That's my attack. All right. Here we go. Um. Let's. Uh, well, I've already fired with my warlord. So now I guess the reaver can go. Yeah. So 25. Oops, did I knock something? Yes, I did. Yeah, you did. All right. So I'm going to go my reaver to your warhound. And I'm going to give you 25% cover. Yes? Sure. Okay. So that's a negative one to my hits. So I'm going to do the same thing to you, which is six dice with the... Gatling Blaster hitting on fours now. So we've got four hits. Four hits to your shields on that war hound. And I need fours now. Ooh, two save to go through. All right, your shields are lowered by are two. down. They are now down. Oh, because he had already took yep. one hit. Yep, yep. All right, well, that'll be good for my Volcano Cannon with just single dice hitting on a four. 50-50, yep. got Five. it. Foul. Six. Um, so, yeah, Volcano Cannon, which, by the way, Volcano Cannon is draining. Oh, which you got to roll the... Um, the reactor. reactor must be pushed. Okay. 
Okay, so I go up by one heat on the reaver. Roll that for for me on my my reaver, because I shot the same thing. Okay. You also have to go up by one. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, uh, so that's a hit. Now we do the strength of the volcano cannon, which is strength ten, versus your warhound. 10 plus 4 is 14, hitting you in the body. Ouch. Ooh, that's a critical hit. That is a critical. So that's two damage points. Two damage points and a critical. Of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six damage points, in case you're wondering. So he's got four hit points left on the body. Yep. And then I have my reactor leak for that first first critical which is yeah so now you'll need to put in a um and just to show you kind of on on here he went over by two on the body and because it was a critical you immediately put in a peg into the first slot on the body and so that is a what what result Ugh. it's a reactor leak Ooh, that's reactor. that's pretty nasty because each each phase Mm -hmm. uh, advance the tight end's reactor status marker a number of times shown in the brackets. Ooh. So that goes, it'll go up yeah. one every phase. In each end phase, your reactor is leaking and just getting hotter and hotter and yeah. hotter. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Yep. Each end phase, yep. So. Um. And I guess, do I want to fire my warp missile at you? You, you want to waste at it? Mine. Do you want to waste it? You f you wasted yours at mine, and you yeah, got, but I hit. You got, you got two hits. Yeah. Yeah. Warp missile. Yeah. You should have fired that first. Why? Truthfully, because no, you're not, it doesn't you, matter. Because you don't have shields. to worry about the shields. Well, the right. So I could fire it before or after. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So within 20 inches, it is within one. Or you could just so save it for one. something that has shields. So two plus, anything but a one. Nope, that's, well, I guess we could use that for that. All right, so it's a hit. Oh, no, I guess that doesn't matter. So then make a location roll. Oh, it, it does matter. Yeah, so weapon. that was a weapon. And then also uh, on a result of one, the target location loses one structure. If on a, a two to three, it loses D3 structure. Yeah. Um, wait a minute, but... On your weapon? How does that work? Oh, so basically... I don't know. Unless it... the It's like the special where it defaults back to something else. I think it goes to the body. Let's roll it. See what happens. Leg. Okay. Uh, and then one, and then we need a D6 roll five. Ooh, D6. Four through six, the location suffers critical damage. So critical damage on the Warhound's mm. leg. Nice. Which is two damage points on the leg yeah. plus a slot. And then uh, stabilizer damage. Stabilizer damage. Isn't that the one where they'll like? Yeah, they dance around. Wobble. Yeah. All right, so I fucked up that, that Warhound right there. Yeah, he's hurting. And I guess we can do some visual visual representation for fun on critical hits, I guess. Nah. Okay. It's we don't need you. that. We don't need that. Don't tell me what to do. We don't need that. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I'm done firing. Uh, I bet you are. Uh, I'm going to shoot. Camelot. It's Sony only mortal. I love it. Uh, I'm going to shoot. What am I going to shoot? I'm going to shoot uh, um, Warhound because if I don't, he's going to die without shooting. So. Okay. So six, we're going to shoot at your warlord. Uh, six of the Vulcans. And I am out of range. Uh, yep. Out of range for, actually, it's 20 inches for long range. Yeah, still good. 
Oops. All right, so I'm needing threes, all right? You got, ooh, you that's a two. bad roll. But you know what's good? Yeah. It's that rapid fire. So actually, it's four hits. Yes, because rapid fire, if you roll a six, you get, you get two an extra. Hits yeah, you get an extra hit. All right, it. four hits on the Warlord Titan's shields, yeah. which um, are blocked on a three plus. Let's see if we can, uh, you know, that, that Warhound blocked them all. Can I block them all? I cannot. One goes through. So my shield down, goes down by one. All Luckily, right, now. on Warlord shields, it's still three plus if I take future hits. We'll do the plasma, and that's what the long range. Two dice at strength eight. It's going to need fours now because of the minus one for long range. So one hit with the plasma. One hit with the plasma, blocking on a three. Yep. Blocked. Bounce. That's it for him. Bounce. Bounce. All good. Um... Who do we got left? Well, we did we did this guy, we did this guy. I guess my war. Yeah, those he doesn't two. have much. Those two need to go. Yeah. All I have here is uh, the plasma gun because the flamer is out of range. So plasma gun against the reaper. Uh, I need a three plus to hit. Um, Four plus. That's a plus. That's a minus one. On it's a range. minus one yeah. on range. Yeah, so one hit. Well, my range is a what? Over eight. It's long range. For plasma? Yeah. Okay. So one hit. Yeah, one hit. Oh, I didn't oh, see. Oh, shield goes down on the reaver. Reaver goes down one. Cool. Okay, you're go. Um. We'll go Warlord to Warlord then. Alrighty. Uh, really, the only thing I can shoot at you, because this is going straight up, um, the only thing I, is the two, my two arms, which are the two Vulcan cannons, right? Yeah. And then from us back and forth, uh, do you, what do you say? I'll say 25. You say 25? Yeah. Yeah, since they're so big? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's forced to hit. I'm just gonna roll them both. Okay. No. No. Both miss. Boom boom. Yeah. Okay. I've got the Questorus knights left. Yep. Maybe we should just say all the Questorus knights have the same gun. No. You don't want to do that. No. You want to go each individual gun. Yeah. Damn, bro. All right. Okay. Well, starting with each individual gun, uh, the Avenger oh. Gatling cannon. Or you just want to? We can. I mean, I guess we could just uh, speed it up a little bit. Just have rapid fire battle cannons. Rapid fire battle cannons. Okay. And a chain sword. Yeah. And chain sword. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Let's All do right. It. So two, four, six. So six dice with rapid fire battle cannons. You are outside of eight inches, so it's not a plus one. Mm -hmm. It is just a, uh, I guess three plus. And yeah, firing. So only three hits. What are you shooting at? The Reaver? The Reaver. Yeah, because that. Three hits. Mm -hmm. And I'm needing threes. Oh, two get through. Or two. Nice. The shields are not almost down, huh? Yeah. Reaver, one, two. Oops, the wrong one. One. One, one, two. Yeah, I still have barely one shield left. Okay. All right, so mind back at your Warhound. Wait, where? The Warhound? No. Why? That building is blocking them. I can't shoot through the windows? No. No? It's not rubble? It's no. a building? Okay. That's fine. And maybe I wouldn't have went there. Well, if I I guess, okay, there. well, all right. If you... Uh, I mean, well, the guy in the back. Well, it's the same thing as this guy right here. This. I see. What, mm, so mm -hmm. this guy wouldn't be able to shoot, and this guy wouldn't be able to shoot, right? Because he can't shoot through him. Yeah, we forgot about that. Yeah. So let's redo this. 
So I got one night. You got one night, right? This, yeah, I can take that. All right. All right, so going back, uh, so get your two shields back. I hit you two times, right? Yeah, two shields. All right, let's see if I can still do it. Four plus, mm, both miss. What about you? All right. Two at, is it, it's going to be four plus because of uh, minus, right? Yes. Yeah. No, it's regular. It's regular four plus? Oh, no, ballistic skill. Okay, that's why it's four plus. So two hits. Two hits on my guy, okay. Uh, blocking on my Warhound, blocking on fours. One is blocked, and one is that, and that is, if you look here, my Warlord goes down, and his shields are down, so that's the little X. Oh, that helps. So now he's going to start taking uh, some damage. So Warlord shields down. Is there rules for cover? That's a good question. Yes, the cover we already covered. It's negative one if you're obscured 25%. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. If you are. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that is the end of the first combat phase. So with this mini, yeah, there's definitely more, more damage oh, flying yeah. back and forth. Yeah. Because we played it with just two titans just to learn the game, and we were like, I don't know if we're going to be able to kill, <laughs> kill anything. Each other. But with uh, these, with with so many more titans on, and this is a small game, yeah. right? Um, so we'll go into the end phase. End phase. However, you do have I have a couple things I have a couple to do. things yeah. that are affecting your so guy. First off, let's go with the legs the and see which way he turns because he has. Um, yeah. Stabilizer's damage. So roll a d6. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 5. On a 4 through 6, I turn right 45 degrees. So right 45 degrees. Whoop. Yep. Okay. All right. And then next, I go up Because he's one unstable right now. Plasma reactor. And then you increased your plasma yep. reactor by 1. Correct. Okay. Uh, is your plasma reactor in the orange? It is in the yellow. It is in the yellow right now. Yes. So it's, that's the only reactor damage you've taken. Yes. So it's a leak. It's a leak. Yeah. You didn't slow. You leak. didn't move it once. No. Before. All right. That's it. Now we go into phase two. Game turn two. Oops. Okay. Turn two. Ready and go. All right. All right, we roll a d10 yeah, roll. to see who gets first player. Three. <laughs> Two. Oh, well, I'm taking first player for sure. You think? Yes. Matters uh, uh, a lot. Um, if you will start looking in the rules for the Questorus, you know, the structure points. Yeah. Um, while I consider what to do as far as issuing orders... Do I want to issue orders? Well, no, because I can repair with that. Um, yeah, my Warhound Titan, I'm going to attempt to re emergency repairs. So let's see if he can hit it. He needs a five plus for emergency repairs. He got a nine. So he will do emergency repairs right now, which is two servitors. It's a six. Hell yes, I needed a six. A two doesn't do jack shit, but a six is the only number that you can spend to bring your shields back, back online, online. Yep. from being offline. Yep. So I'm going to move this uh, shield from there to there. Okay, cool. And... Um, I guess, do we alternate giving orders back and forth? That's kind of dumb. Uh, yeah, you go. I think so. Yeah. Um, so I'll do my uh, Warhound. Warhound, right okay. And I will roll. You're trying to do uh, emergency yes. repairs, right? So because I need a, a lot of damage on that Warhound. command of 5 plus, and I get a 1. Uh, so he does no not do repairs. repairs. Okay. All right. Next. Um, let's see. Um, do I want to do any more? Any more? Uh, 
Um, no, I guess I'm good. Yeah, I'm fine. All right, That's I'm going to do uh, the Reaver Titan just to see if I can do emergency repairs on him. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, actually, or should I just do regular repairs? No, I'm not going to do emergency repairs because I may want to move and shoot. So I will, I'm good with okay. the... Orders. So strategy phase done, movement phase. I've got to go first. I am forced to go first. Um, all right, let's... This guy has a flamer, so we might as well be trying to do the flaming. Um, so let's push him. Uh, t pushing him. We'll get 12 inches. So we'll come out for two, and then we'll go 12. 14? So you're going 14? No, I went 12. 12? I went one oh. inch to get out. I, I went 10. Once I was out, I went 10. Okay. And then... Once you were out, you went 10. Yes. But I need to push... Or I need yeah, to okay. Uh, that's the special one. Yeah. What is the special one again? You if gotta I roll make on a the command check. Yeah. If you don't five plus. Uh oh, uh oh. Now you roll on the chart. Now I roll on the one machine six. spirit chart. One D six, page forty four. Awakened machine spirit chart. God damn six. it. Wrathful. The controlling player chooses one of the Titan's weapons that has not been disabled and attacks with it, using a ballistic skill and a weapon skill of four plus. Follow oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. So, like, my, my Titan is going, Rawr! oh, that's so fucking sweet. The machine spirit possessed me and blessed me, and I, I'm going to fire my flamer. Cool. So my flamer auto hits when we do that. Yep. <laughs> And um, so the flame does three dice, strength seven, plus whatever I roll. Yep. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we need to see where it hits. Yep. Body. So what's your bo what's your body? To uh, to hit. So direct hits. The first. Speed. Okay, so the first one, one at a time. Uh, the three plus seven is ten. Yeah. It goes one a direct hit. Yeah. Next is another direct hit. Yeah. Five plus seven, 12. 12 is another direct hit. So three damage to your body. Yep. Nice. Noise. Oh, wait. But, yeah, yeah. Three damage to your body. Now you're at the hole that says, so he, this is the reaver. So he went one, two, three. Now he's at the hole that says plus, plus one. Plus one. So next time. So if time, he takes further body hits, yeah, it's, it's going to add plus one on right. that chart to really fuck him up. All right. Okay, cool. All right, well, that was fun. A little special. Uh, I, I like that the game has these abilities for those special things. Yep. Well, that was just my movement. Yeah, that was just your movement. It's that was now pretty cool. time for your movement. All right, I'm going to move these uh, these guys out. So. Hey, thank you, Pog. For saying so, I'm thinking. I am definitely a traitor, of Dark Wolf. Uh, eight. Just put these guys around here like this. Yeah. Okay. That's my move. Ooh. Okay. Um.
Well, I can't let those guys have free shots against my guys. So maybe I'll just swing my guys over there. It's Tyler. Yeah, I saw it, buddy. Um, it was a good job, man. And keep it, keep it up. Keep posting those uh, pictures of your Necrons, man. That's that's awesome that you you found the hobby, mm -hmm. and are enjoying the Hell painting yeah, aspect of it. It's Tyler Orta. Is it really Tyler Orta? Um, I. Let's form a defensive perimeter. If I can go 10, I'm going to park right in front. And yeah. we're within two of each other, so no shields? Yeah. I don't know if ion shields work different than normal void shields, but we'll, we'll, well, we kind of need to know that then. Because, uh, you know, and then is there tying pieces up in combat and stuff like that? So, it's on page um, 46 where it talks about the banner command terminals, which uh, is what we have. It's on page what? 46. Okay. Banners in the movement phase. When a banner is activated, each knight can move up to the speed. Knights are considered to have 360 front arc. Yeah. Make as many turns as they want. Must be within three inches of each other. Yeah, so I thought they had to stay. Yeah, so we're good on yeah, yeah, we're definitely good. Combat phase attack. Ion shields. When fighting in a banner, uh, knights align their ion shields, granting them greater protection as a group individually. They're no different to void shields. So, yeah, okay. we'll just treat them as void shields. But I'll go within two so that we have no shields. Damaging banners, direct hit, loses a structure point. All right, but then what about close combat? Would it be better for me to charge you and use my uh, chain sword? You're within two, I so you can you can do that. No, I think within two is just for the. Um, you can use close combat within two. Oh, that's what that is. Uh, if you look under the weapon, Christorus mm -hmm. melee we melee weapon. To two inches, yeah. Accuracy plus one, strength seven. Or I can fire. Well, I guess you can fire as well, right? Yeah. yeah. That's devastating. Rapid fire battle cannons and then melee weapons. Yeah. All right. That's, that's going to be brutal. All right. I'm done moving that. All right. So I'm going to move. The warlord. So. I'm gonna push him too. So go ahead, roll my reactor. Right. It's a uh, one one heat. reactor. One reactor. All right, it goes up. Say heat because battle tech. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn my one, and he's gonna go. Now, this is the weird thing about the game is, uh, you know, buildings, yeah. collisions. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you don't need to collide. Why don't you go forward a certain amount of inches, slide to the side, yeah. and then go some more. Yeah. But I'll, I'll go to the section. So I can go three. Collisions. Models cannot voluntarily move through other models or buildings or blocking terrain. If a model is forced to do so, it will stop in base-to-base -base contact. That's it. If a model collides with another model, each one inflicts DC D6 hits on each other at a strength equal to its scale. If a model collides with blocking terrain, like, you know, building, it suffers D6 hits. Instead of rolling D6 and adding strength, roll 2D6 for each hit and apply the result to the location's damage table. I'm done. Okay. You're setting up to obliterate my war hound, it looks like. Eh, maybe. 
All right. Um, let's move this guy. My Reaver. Uh, Reaver is going to move uh, normal six inches. Uh, so I think I need to. Oh, and its maneuvers are two. Yep. So let's um, move. Let's uh, turn once. Okay. And then move forward uh, up six. Let's go four. And uh, I got two inches left. And you still have uh, one more turn, too. Yeah, let's do another turn. Let's do a turn. And then let's do two inches. Okay. That's his move. So what do I got left? I've got my Warhound and my Reaver. Uh, let's go in with the reaver then. Six inches and five inches away. Actually, what you're at. <laughs> Just get out of eight inches. So I can move, I'll move back. You can move back up to three S inches. Three inches, yeah. That'll get me out of, that'll get me out of, uh, flamer range. Flamer range. Damn. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, then. So now I'm starting to, figure the the movement thing out it's kind of really it's very chest like uh so i move there you counter my move right there mm -hmm. you move here kind of counter you still got your flamer off but i kind of countered your flamer there it's kind of like got lucky with that flamer yeah. that was rolling a six on a d6 yeah. so yeah all right uh firing phase i do like that that, that. well oh, no, actually no damage phase you have to move your warlord and i have to war move my warhound okay Okay, uh, Warlord, Titan, speed five or four. Four, no, six, four, okay. Four Let's or six. go um, one inch that way for two movement, and then I guess two inches forward, and um, yeah, we're good. All right, that so lumbering thing is slow as hell. Is going to. What is this? Turn two, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, let me see that small uh, little thing. Small one. So we'll go one. Eight inches. <laughs> He's going to go bonsai. Okay. You know what? We <laughs> we missed the fucking. What did we miss? We missed the repair. No, we didn't. No, okay, that's no, next. damage. Okay, that's now. So now, damage control yeah. phase. So let's see, which one could use some repairs? My Warhound 
Um, yeah, I'll roll my Warhound. Two dice for my Warhound. One, uh, that's a five. So I will repair Void Shields. All right, two dice for my Warhound. <coughs> okay. A four and a three. So the four, I can get a fucking... Uh, I can get a reactor back. Oh, all right. That's yeah. awesome. Reaver Titan. I uh, needed a four, and I got nothing. Reaver Titan doesn't get to vent. All right. So we'll do Reaver Titan. I've got uh, six, so he can bring a shield back online. Your shields were at zero? No, what is that? No. It gain Just one shield bring back. It up by yeah, one. Yeah, back by one. Okay. Yeah. And that's it. Damage control phase done. Uh, let me do my war, war, warlord. Warlord? Yeah. He has uh, plasma. He has a plasma. Venting. Plasma down. Yeah, so a little vent. <laughs> and he gets all the good rolls. Yes, of course. All right. All right. Shoots him. Okay, shooting. Well, I definitely wanted to go first over here um, to resolve this big showdown. And let's get a nice little zoom in because... Will be uh, sweet, hopefully. All right, so we'll fire our weapons first, and then we'll do the close combat, right? Yep. So the princess, uh, blah blah blah. Select target. Yeah, we got it. Uh, declare attacking weapon. So we uh, two dice for each um, cannon, and the cannons are rapid fire battle cannons. Can they're, you fire the cannons in they're melee? They're technically not. Or you're not. They're not in melee, but I think. Is there like a negative to roll, like maybe a negative modifier at close range or something? Uh, rapid fire battle cannon, no. I mean, you're at close short quarters. range. Here you go. Yeah. Uh, Titans usually engage their targets at long range, but some are equipped with weaponry that makes it deadly at close quarters. Quick thinking uh, attacks made against targets within two use the attacking unit's weapon skill rather than ballistic skill. In addition, when making such an attack, a targeted attack uh, suffers a negative one to hit rather than a negative two if you're doing a targeted attack. Okay. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm, I mean, pretty sure you can still fire your weapons in the face. That's just saying certain weapons have weapon skill. And in that tutorial that okay. we watched together, yeah, yeah. that's what it looks like do to that. me. Yeah. But. Uh, yeah. It says, you know, it says yep. short range up to eight inches. So yep. zero to eight. Here we go. It's plus one. Uh, so hitting on threes, fours, threes. plus one threes. So four hits, three hits, right? Oh, four hits, four hits yep. because threes. I didn't see that one in the corner. Um, and no shields because we're within two. So you take four, uh, hits. Um, but we need to roll. I need to roll these again because these are going directly to your armor. Mm. And the strength of the rapid fire battle cannon is only a five, so. But uh, and you to direct hit you is a nine, so five six seven. So that doesn't hit five plus three eight. That doesn't hit. These two hit. So that's a nine yeah. and that's a ten. So two direct hits. So, so does that take off? So how does that work? Yeah, I looked it the, up. It the, it is. It takes off the structure points. It takes off the structure points. So. You do. So two tr two structure two points. Two structure points, and you go down two. And there's no, no, no save, right? No save. Okay. All right, and then we'll try to finish you off with the Questorus uh, uh, chainsaws. Yeah. Uh, plus one, so threes. And this is strength sevens. So first threes. Got no, no, no. Three hits? No. Only three dice. Oh, okay. Only three dice. And it's a twos. Let it's me reroll. Oh, why is it two? Because it's a plus one okay. accuracy. Weapon skill is a three plus. Drops yeah. to a two plus because yep. of our range. 
Oh, are you serious? Mm. So one. I mean that. One. That. Now roll your your d6 for your damage. So it's a seven plus five. That's thirteen. That that does it. Devastating hit. That's two on the chart. Yeah, that that'll take him out. Yeah. So because he had done, I'd done two before, and then we hit a devastating, which is two. So boom, takes them all out in a single blow. <laughs> Now that is devastating, and I'm gonna check, double check here in the rules. But it was just barely. It seems like it. Uh, Ignoring void shields, the nature of shields, uh, mm -hmm. and since we're treating them exactly as shields, if an attack targets a unit that's within two, uh, void saves cannot be made. Okay. Um, yeah. My my question would be: Can all weapons fire in melee combat? Yeah. Well, I think I think so. Yes. So as long as they don't have a dash on the short, uh, you know, side of that. Because if you look here, we go to you see screen combat phase. So it rolls five saves. The void must hit three times. With no void shields to protect itself, the traitor reaver will now have damage taken against its armor. And in front of it is our Traitor Reaver as the target. The terminal on the right corresponds to the Traitor Reaver. And you can see its void shields have been blown. It's still shooting now. The attacking now. Reaver has gone through the combat sequence, attacking with its laser blaster, and has hit three times. With yeah. no void shields to protect itself, the Traitor Reaver will now have... See, he shot with his laser blasters. No, it's he hasn't done range. melee yet, though. He's just shooting. This is just shooting. Well, that's what we're talking about. I just did no, he's shooting. Ta he's talking... Later in the, the segment, he talks about the melee. Okay. What I'm what we have to do is to make sure that you can shoot within two inches. Yeah. That's what this is saying. Now, what you're are you wondering? Can you shoot and attack at the same time? Uh, uh, can yes. you shoot and then attack? Yes. You can. That's what I'm at. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Damage taken against its armor. To do this, first roll the location dice. This has head, leg, arms, body, and special. And if so, I mean that's that's all fine and fine to Danny. I just we just need to know. Yeah, yeah, we definitely need to know. I mean that's how it works in you know in the other games where you shoot and then you can also melee if you're in close combat. But it's it's odd because they're like big massive vehicles. It it's just odd that they're combined. You know, the the combat is melee and and shooting is combined as one. Right. And I, I definitely concede or admit that it's quite devastating. It's like having two attack phases at yeah. one go. Yeah. So, you know. But you, if you remember, ah, I think I figured it out. If you remember, you can attack with each weapon. Right, right, And right. what I'm doing is essentially I'm I'm firing my first weapon, right. which was the ballistic one, yeah, and, and now I'm firing my second weapon, which is the close quarters battle where yeah. it's devastating. And that, that definitely makes sense. Yeah. So, and, the, and the thing, too, <laughs> would be why wouldn't everybody just want to rush up and fight somebody, you know? Well, that's, yeah, you would definitely want to do that. But probably in most cases, these lumbering guys are so slow that it's very difficult to try to do that. It's going to take you a long time to get up there. Why you just push, push, except push, Except right? for... And then, or rush you know well rush you can order. only go on a straight line yeah it's going to take you a little bit to get up there with one of the bigger boys yeah, if yeah. you equip him with a chainsaw now i think the way to do it is exactly what we did there yeah which is you have to do it with the smaller guys yeah and whoever hits first with that is is going to really devastate them All right so it was essentially like i was hiding behind the building you set up to start shooting, and then we just boom, right. just started and out. Now As that I know, you wouldn't have done it. I would no. I would have. I would have right. done the same thing as you. I would have just rushed up to exactly. This you would have waited it. until I moved here, and then you would have did it to me. No, no, no. no. I would have. I would have had these guys rush this way oh, on to him, onto him, and then yeah. I would have done it to you. Yeah, yeah. Really? Either way, I mean, still, gotcha. um, you want to get those. Seems like you want to get everything in close combat. 
within two inches. That has a close combat uh, weapon because even the e- only thing that has close combat no, weapons. Even even regardless of that, you're shooting inside the shields, right? Within two inches. So good point. You, yeah, you want to get shooting e- within in, inside you the get, shields. You want to get like, close. Yeah, it seems like you want to get everything close. Okay, I agree. Yeah, cool. All right, so Michael. Well, that's the I, I like that because. There is, I feel like there's some incentive for me to just hang back and just fire, there, fire, yeah, fire, there's fire, a, fire, there, fire. There's a lot and, of incentive to do that. Right. But this makes it to where there's incentive to get into your face so right. I don't have to deal with your shields. Because I feel like if I'm just plinking you from behind, I'm bringing down your shields, but you're repairing them. Yeah. You know, so. And that's where the concentrated fire comes in. If you just want to sit down, sit, sit back, yeah. And fire. You but, have to concentrate fire. But, yeah, definitely, I think think the thing to do is to, to brush in yeah yeah well. all right well now that those guys are dead yep. you probably want to go with him before he's gonna die because he will nah, die i'm not worried about him oh okay i mean what's he gonna do knock your shields out but what i'm to but it. at least he gets to fire before he gets blown yeah, away because i think he's gonna get blown nah, away. He, he's good he's good yeah he's okay. gonna dodge all this shit he's gonna use his shields <laughs> that he don't have <laughs> no he, he is definitely gonna go next um What's he got? The Vulcan. So let's do the Vulcan first. Okay. Six dice. Close range is plus one. So twos. Yep, twos. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Warhound is opening up on the Warlord Titan uh, with three hits. Four hits. A six. Oh, because of the six. Yeah. yeah. So four hits to my shields. Hey, that's pretty good because, you know, oh, that's a perfect strategy. I kind of like this. Because even though you're sacrificing this guy, if you pull all of his shields down, yeah, that's gonna, the equivalent of pulling the. I mean, it's way more valuable to pull his shields down than it is anybody else's. Oh, two, two shields go down. One, two, and I have uh, basically one shield one left. left. Two okay. left. All right, so plasma blast. I'm a um, maximal fire. So go ahead and roll a reactor for me, please. One reactor. One reactor. Come on. Remember, it doesn't matter on my shield, so you probably shouldn't have done. Well, that. I mean, if one gets through, uh, so no, you you if so two get through, one two, you pull my shield down. I have two slots left. No, so if you fail one, it goes down. Yeah, it would be two, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I see what you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, two hits, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then I roll four pluses now to try to block. Right. Uh, one goes down and one stays up. So, so my you shields still are still have up, shields. Yeah. But this is my last shield. Yep. All right. That's it for me. Okay, now it's time to blow him away <laughs> with the Warlord Titan. Let's see what the Warlord Titan can do up close. You get the. Um, you got him, right? No, I gave him to you. Okay. Well, there you go. So it's Apocalypse Missiles, um, 10 dice, and the the Vulcan Cannon. Here you go. Two of these. And which one should I fire first? Obviously the missiles. Yeah. Do you have any shields? I don't have any shields, so it doesn't really matter. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, my God. No shields versus a Warlord. So you're going to take the full brunt. Three plus. Is there any range no. thing on there? It uh, Well, it's 30 inches for short, short range. range yeah. So I guess 0 to 30. And then long range is 0 to 120, which cool. would be the whole fucking thing. Yeah. So four misses, uh, five misses, five hits. Five hits. One, two, three, four, five. So and I guess no, you just go yeah, straight through. Go to whatever. <laughs> what's area. the um? What's go the to the legs damage or the strength? Well, let's roll again. The strength is only four. Okay. So and I'm hitting your legs. So you need sixes. I need sixes to do damage. Yes. Oh, so w- wait a minute. Actually, you're well then I wasted all of my rockets. No. Yes. Because because y- if you had no shields. I don't have any shields. Right. But I don't want to use rockets against somebody that has no shields because it's sixes to try to hit you. Well, you, you can't that's use them any against anybody else. Oh, that's no? true. Yeah, because they're out of arc. arc. Yeah. 
So looking for sixes, no sixes. Yeah. So a bunch of superficial damage on this charging war war hound. Interesting. But you still got the two your two arms. Okay, I still have two volcano cannons yep. at strength twelve each. Yep. Um, so I guess I'll do that. And they're three plus. So they both hit. And let's look at well, let's do them one at a time. Here's the location of the first volcano cannon and its effectiveness. So twelve plus fifteen. Three. Yeah, that's an a critical devastating. Oh, it's a critical on a warhound? Yeah. Uh, to your body. Yeah, so that goes up one. This goes up two. You still alive? Yeah. Okay. Now let's do it again for another the other volcano cannon. It's a head, only one, so thirteen to your head. It's a direct hit, so it so. goes up one. Wow, you survived it. Yes. I did. Hmm. But I'm in uh I've got <laughs> reactor leak and VSG burn. What's VSG burn? Let's see. VSG burnout. The uh, Titan's, Titan's voice shield shields. collapse immediately. I don't have Titan, like, can, You shields. can't even raise shields anymore until this has been repaired. Okay. Cool. Even if you hit sixes. Well, if I hit sixes, I can repair criticals. Okay. So, so that'll yeah. help. Yeah. All right. He's still in the game, though. Still hanging around. That's wild. He's, he's dragging his ass. Right you would think that a full brunt attack yeah. from it. I don't know. Uh, what is your body at? Uh, it's up there. It's so almost your at body red. has it's almost one red. more thing. Yeah, one more, and it goes to the red, and then and then all one more critical damage goes to the criticals. Yeah. So yep. basically, if I hit your body one more time, Couple it more seems times, yeah. like you'll go down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a little hard to tell how much damage you're doing and what damage you have to look at their yeah. consoles. Yeah. Uh, other than that. Yeah. Okay, so right. that was me. What about you? I'll shoot my uh, Warlord Titan. Okay. We're going to go for... What's going on with the Hound? It's got a... Uh, your Warhound is... What about it? At how many shields? Two shields. Two shields. Yeah, let's go, let's go after your Warhound. Okay. So, 10 missiles. All right, 10 missiles. And what is it, threes to hit? 10 missiles. Well, there's something in the way, fours to hit. 25%. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Fours. <laughs> Three hits. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this hurts. Okay, uh, my shields are at a four plus. Block them all. Nothing. No, two only go down. so two go down. My shields are down. Kay. Damn. All right. Sure. My two Vulcan cannons did what you needed to do. Fours. There. And I got a four. <laughs> Combined four. Combined four. All right. Both miss. Thanks. Got lucky. All right. Um, you're outside of my flamer range then. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Outside yeah. of my flamer range. Uh, then I'll come over here to my Reaver instead. So the Reaver will try to finish off the... The Warhound. So Reaver. Gatling Blaster. Six dice. You have no shields, right? Mm -hmm. So this is all going to go to your um, yeah, person. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Go to my armor. To hit. Armor, yep. Uh, miss three times, hit three times. Yep. Let's see what location. It's on your weapons. Uh, and that was a six before I yep. moved it. So six plus five is 11. So uh, remember, when it goes yeah, to it your goes, weapons, it disables you, one. You yeah. so roll a dice so one through one to three. three we'll one. do plasma. Yeah, mm -hmm. one to three is plasma. Uh, of course, it goes to the Vulcan. All right, Vulcan cannon is hit. Yeah, so it gets flipped over. And the rest do not do any damage because five plus two is seven. 
So I've got two more hits of seven coming through and nothing. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, that was the Gatling Blaster. Now we'll do the Volcano Cannon, which is a single dice. Three yeah. plus. Got yeah. it hit. Let's see. Location. Legs. Uh, 10, strength 10 plus 3, that's uh, strength 13 to your legs. 13 to the legs is devastating. 1, 2, and go God to damn two. it, you're on your, your last bit there, too. Yep. So they've shredded your legs, they've shredded your body, but you still... So stabilizers uh, damage, uh, locomotor seized. Ugh. That's going to suck. Um, you know what? I really want to destroy this... Fucking guy, I ha I still have my warp missile. Uh, maybe I'll finish you off with. No, you shot that. No, I didn't. I swear I have it. I yeah. saved it. No, you did. What you did. How? What did it do? I know you shot it. I did I shot mine. Okay. You shot yours. I didn't shoot mine. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you shot yours. No, because I'll let you have another one. Go ahead. No, because the, I put my card upside down for you <laughs> over here, and. When, uh, and then I was like, why is my card upside down? I didn't fire mine yet. So I put it right side up, and I said, I'm not going to. And then I was going to fire it. But I was like, I don't want to waste it on him. I was going to use it against your big guy. Okay. But I decided not to. Um, so this is still turn two, right? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to blow it up. Okay. I'm going to use my, my missile. Cool. It's a plus one. At short range? At short range. So a two plus to yep. blow this thing up. Give me a one. Ugh. Gotcha. And now we do location with a D6. Yep. Course weapon, but that defaults to body, as we said before. Why so you just did weapon now? Well, we would just do weapon? Yeah. Okay, weapon. Five. five but plus remember, what? see, it's different because that five on the warp, because it's a warp gun. Yeah. Five, uh, four through six, the target suffers critical damage. So you suffer critical damage. So you, and that's why over here it says that. Yeah, that but it's still that mm -hmm. amount of um, wounds, right? Yeah, but you you can't do. A critical damage to your weapon location. That's and you can't oh, do yeah, a critical yeah, yeah, damage yeah, yeah, to yeah, your yeah. special location. Yeah. So it defaults to body. We'll go to body. Yeah. And it does critical damage to your body. So now, roll the dice. It does one through six, right? One through six. Yeah. So on a one, it does. No. One. Yeah. Warp. Critical damage. Not catastrophic damage. No, no, no. The okay. warp is because it, it has a chance to do D, like D3 um, or D6 <laughs> points of damage. I did that. That's what I'm doing. I, if I roll a 2 to 3, you do D3 structure damage. Oh, On yeah, a 4 yeah. to 6, you do critical oh, damage, yeah, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. 2 hits my bad, my to bad. the body location. So, so it goes to 1. So the first hit goes to one, uh, but when you go to red, does it does it give you? Yeah, it gives yeah, you. Yeah, so I'm red and red, and then now. And the second hit kills you. I don't know that it kills you, or it does catastrophic damage table, right? No, and it, it goes to the uh, catastrophic. Yeah, I forgot what he. <laughs> what, he what he said. Too, yeah. yeah, what he said. What uh, when when an area takes more, you just yeah. go. Oh no! I think um. No, that's not when a when, when you. When you can't take anything else, then you roll that. Yeah, I can't take anything else. Okay, so take your catastrophic damage. So roll a d10. Your Titan's going to explode. I hope so. And it may shoot its weapon before it goes down, called Wildfire. Or it may detonate. 
Uh, I'm trying to do catastrophic meltdown. Come on, 10. Nine. Damn, that's magazine. a magazine detonation. <laughs> the Titan is destroyed. Roll a D3 and add the Titan's scale. So Warhound is scale six. So roll a D3 and add six. So <laughs> D3, so seven. So hits, seven hits using the each highest. Each model within that many inches of the Titan before it is removed. Each model within that many inches of the Titan is suffers D3 hits using the highest strength from amongst the Titan's weapons, regardless of whether they have been disabled. So basically, that so thing detonates, and it is enough to get him, not enough to get him. So he suffers D3 hits yeah. using the highest strength. Oh, just out. Half an inch. What's the highest strength of your weapons, uh, regardless eight. of whether they've been disabled eight. or not? Eight. So I suffered D3, eight, eight. hit. Yeah, strength so. eight hits. <laughs> one. Only one strength eight hit. Uh, nine, and it does not. And it plinks off my yeah. armor harmlessly. Well, what's, yeah, it doesn't matter. And then all that explosion blowback slams into the Titan harmlessly. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Wunderbar. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It had a chance to do something. So let's say, let's say, let's say it. Let's go three. Let's go three and then and roll. Then it's still. So shit, hold bro. on, hold on. <laughs> Five, eight plus four. That would have done, done something. Some, that would have done one, one damage. Twelve would have done one damage. To and, something. Yeah. And we would have rolled the location. Ugh, it would have been my weapon. Stupid. No, that the the weapon is what you want, because then it would have destroyed my yeah you can Gatling, or not my Gatling blaster, one of the big cannons. Yeah, but it, you can repair pretty easily. You can. It's on a, a card? three plus. Yeah, it's on a three plus. Oh, repair weapon yeah. three plus. So it would have blown the weapon up, and then I could have repaired it for three plus. Okay. Yeah, it's not that big big of a deal. Weapons yeah. weapons seems like. Um, Weapons getting destroyed, it seems kind of hard. Yeah, destroying weapons is a little hard. Oh, that's cool. It's <coughs> good. Uh, all, right. all right. Uh, yeah, my, Jay, my you, this is pretty desperate now. You you need to kill something. Uh, I, do I don't I? know what your objective is, but do you need I? to kill something. Do I really? I think you do. Okay. All right. Um, that's gone. Yeah, I only got two things left, huh? Yeah. And it <laughs> this is only, what, turn three? Is this turn three or turn now two? We're, now we're in turn three. We would have done the end phase where your Warhound yeah. would have done some wacky shit, but he blew up. All right, we get, we get the point. Okay, so uh, roll for first player. No, I still got to fire him. Still got to fire him. Yeah. All right, so six shots with the uh, Vulcan... And you got the six shots, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, six you got the shots. Uh, accuracy one at within eight inches. I don't think with, it's within eight. No. So threes. And this one is ordinance, right? Yes. All right. So reroll one. So four. Sh four. Um, that guy's ar uh, shields are gone, right? Yeah. Okay. So four. Four. Uh, Why you reroll? Oh, your this is for the armor the strength. Yeah. Oh my God, that's gonna be bad. All right, so. So the strength is five. Five. So. So that's a, a ten. ten. Oh, we need ten to see where you hit. An eleven. You hit on my legs. So three, basically just three on your legs. That's One, two, three. Yeah. Crap. Okay. All right. So now the Vulcan. One or two? No, it's just one, right? Vulcan, there's no uh, modifiers to help. No, I'm just saying, is it one dice? It's one dice. Yeah, okay. You miss. And that's it? Yeah. All right, now, end phase. Now the end phase, nothing. Nobody okay. has anything that's going to matter, right? No. No. Okay, now we go into turn uh, three. Four. Turn four. 
right? No, uh, it yeah, was turn, turn last, three. Last one was three. I think I already hit the three button. Yeah, but that was just from catching up. Wait, this no, is I had hit the three button before we got to turn three. Oh, so that you so you tell me that's turn oh, that was only turn two. Well, let's see. This Titan couldn't have gotten there unless I moved. I guess so. I was just one, or two. Yeah, this is three. Yeah, this yeah, is three, three. Like I said. Yeah, because right. he just want one, mm -hmm. two. Yeah. Yeah. So all the concerns that I had of we're not gonna be able to blow things up before and finish the end this is not quickly. Yeah. Not. Or not as valid. far as finish it a game as as yeah with stuff getting destroyed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That that was a a, a non. And then I think, uh, you know, upon going through it, well, we'll save, save that in it for a bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, turn three, rolled for initiative. All right. I've got a four. Uh, of course I get a four. Okay. Uh, I don't know if ties matter. Five? Ugh, fuck, come on. Five. <laughs> really? <laughs> Eight. Beat that. Nah. You okay. Have um, I don't know why I would ever give you first turn. Like uh, you're you're rolling. Unless you want to see where I move. Unless you want to see where I move. Which it, which yeah, I mean, it, it's I mean it's not that powerful, especially if I'm if I'm ahead of you. Now would be my luxury to do it yeah. to see where you move to line up all my things. Right. But you're gonna get to shoot me first, which and I would want to shoot you in first. In this case, in this case, it doesn't really matter. There's a. 3% chance I might knock out some weapons and make yeah. you less effective at shooting. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I'm going to take Because you're going to be able to shoot multiple things after I'm done. I would take the initiative because yeah. if I have more people on the thing, I can waste your turns by just moving something that I don't care about, yeah. forcing you to move your two things, and then saving my two big boys where I really want to set them up for later. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's no there. You always want to win first turn. Yeah, I don't see. I don't uh, know if I point, like that. I want to point to uh, giving it up. Other than maybe you want like you want to see somebody move. Right. But, uh, just but really, you're just rolling to see yeah. who goes first. Yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, uh, let's give orders. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to try to charge with my war hound right because what does charging do will that let me do a nice little flame in your face in the movement phase the unit acting under charge can only move within its front arc mm -hmm. once it starts moving it can't take turns however once it's finished moving it can make an immediate either smash or an attack with a weapon that has a melee trait the no that does not have a melee trait mm -hmm. um, but that's after after the movement. Yeah. So you can... Wait. Um, no, this does not stop the unit from making uh, an attack in the combat phase. Right. As mentioned. So, yeah, I definitely want to do that. So that encourages getting in each other's face, like you said before. So I need a 5 plus to make that happen. And mm. I rolled a 1. It yep. does not happen. Um, damn. Okay, well, um, <laughs> I guess I'll uh, go all ahead full on my Warlord Titan. I need Command what? 3 what, plus. What about, what, do I get that? Yeah, you get it. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> I want to do m emergency repairs. Emergency repairs on who? Uh, who is winning? Angry Joe. I am red. Uh, Jay is blue. He has two Titans left, um, and I have four Titans. Actually, I don't need to. Uh, the, the thing I was going to repair is dead. So, you may go. Okay, so I will do the full stride. Uh, a unit acting under full stride cannot attack in the combat phase. Instead, when it's activated, it can move a number of inches up to its speed. This move must be made within the unit's front arc. It cannot make any turns before or after. And it must do... Which one? Well, why would I do that? What? Can you can you read the full stride yourself and see why would you ever do that? A unit acting under full stride orders 
cannot attack in combat phase. Instead, when activated, can move. Okay, wait. Instead, when activated in the combat phase? Because that'll give you two movements. And if it gives you two movements for not firing, I'm okay with it. But my question to you is, why wouldn't I just push my reactor once and go six inches? Mm. It does give you two movements, but it's all in a straight line. All in a straight line. So you can move. Do it you? would all be in a straight line, yeah. and that's because the... But it cannot make any turns before, during, or after this move. Yeah. And the move must be made in a straight line. Yeah. But I think that's only pertaining to that free move that you get that first in the move. combat phase. No, this is that first one. Or this, this one. move must be made with it. So a unit acting under full stride cannot attack in the combat phase. That's fine. Yeah. Instead, when it is activated, it can move a number of inches up to its speed right but it can already move a number of inches up to its speed when it's activated in the movement phase but when it's i'm thinking you're doing it now you're doing it basically in a strategy phase that first move and then you're doing your movement phase no because it says when it's activated so when you're activating that that's instead, that order when it is active no a unit acting under full stride cannot attack in the combat phase right. instead oh when it is activated it okay. can move yeah, a number so of you can move it's, it. it's really poorly worded. Yeah. But I think it means so you in do the your combat movement. phase, when you activate it, it cannot fire. It moves forward. It just forward. goes straight, yeah. So it's a double movement, technically. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not going to do that because that makes no sense. No. I would only go up against this. But I will push my reactor to go up against it six inches. Six inches. Uh... Reactor dice, one reactor. And then I'll do 45 degree turn. Okay. Yeah, we were forgetting about our stratagems. Yeah. I am winning. Car mine. It's hard to tell. Because there's secret objectives. <laughs> so anyway, that was my first movement. Now, now it's your first movement. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and push my reactor for the beat. We have yet to see a double. We got a double. Actually, oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. Hold that thought. Um, I'm going to move my reaver first. So, but you can, I can still save that for that because I'm going to all right, double reactor on whoever. Yeah, on it'll be on him. Okay. Because I'll, I'll do that, huh? But I want to move my reaver first. Okay. I think yeah. if I was Jay, I would concede, because four of my guys versus two of his. Yeah. Unless, unless he can smash me right now. If you can take out my warhound, which it might be possible. My legs only have two hit points left, and then if you crush. If you do a bunch of devastating damage to my legs. All right, so. Um, he's on no uh, shields, right? Yes, he has no shields. Okay. So, the only chance of winning I have mm -hmm. is killing him, yes. possibly killing them. Okay, why? And then hoping I survive. Okay. That's the only possible chance. If, if you kill those two. Yeah, if gotcha. I kill those. 
All right. Well, you move. So let's see what what happens with this turn, and then and then we'll go from there. So I I, I haven't moved with this guy. The no, only one I moved is that one. That's why I wanted to move him first. Right. Yeah. Well, are you you're not within two inches, are you? Um. I fire first, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ensure that. Yeah, it's within two uh, inches. I will help you out. Okay. Because <laughs> the smart thing would be to run away and then just play keep away this whole time. If we were at a tournament, I'm just going to play keep away, right? Yeah. Because if I have four titans or four units and you have two, but I'm going to uh, do the stupid thing and see how much damage I can do to you when I'm in your face. And you blow up. I guess I would blow up because you. Oh, you might, you're gonna. Hit no, because your Gatling your gun does shitty damage, right? The strength but on your Gatling gun is not that powerful. That's true. Your volcano cannon is only a single dice. Yeah, but if so, unless you target you my crit. legs specifically, which you could do that yeah. at a negative whatever, then I then I don't think you can, or I don't know. You might. I don't know. All right, so I'm moving forward so that we can ensure that you're gonna take. We're gonna give each other full. Full damage. Shield of damage. Yeah. I mean, you don't have shields anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right. For you. Well, yeah. we've, we've, we've. I mean, I guess I could have done the stupid uh, uh, repair, right? Because we forgot. No, that's after this phase. Yeah. We still haven't done it. Damage so control phase. I, I go up to. I'm going to move my six. Oh, here comes big boy. All right. See, and then you get into these little arguments. Like, if we weren't cool with each other, like, is it still 25% obscured? I would you say know. no, because the guns are taller yeah. than the building. So yeah. at this point, it's clear. But by rule, yeah. who knows who what, knows what it is? Right. I don't even know. The, the, they need to fix all of GW's. I don't like that. I got to look down and when just the arguments, the, yeah. well, the arguments for mm -hmm. terrain, all of GW's yeah. games are like, so that. here's what, here's how I, you fix it. I've only seen one fix. Bolt action has it the best way. What's uh, the fix for it? That the terrain, the terrain uh, system, I guess you can say mm -hmm. in bolt action is the best in any game system that I've ever played. The terrain, the terrain, because it's simple. You're just either in it, me. you're out of it, you're behind it, or you're not behind it. And there's 50% or there's not 50%. That's it. What is 50% not 50%? So it's either... 50% yeah. of your unit is covered. Right. Or 50. Oh. Yeah. No, that, to me, that's the same shit. No, it's not because when I'm looking past something, so if all of your unit was behind something, you can't see it. Where in this case, I can see part of it so I can shoot you it. Have to so, go, uh, you know, I don't like systems where you have to like get down on the model. Yeah. <laughs> like this and look. I don't I don't yeah, want to do I, that. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't But the only way to get around that is is two things. I, even bolt so bolt action is better than than games workshop in that sense. Yeah. But there's one level that's even more simple and some war gamers are like, I don't want to go that simple. That that one is everything has a what you call height. So we would right. call this a height three, right? And this a height three. Right. Uh, and then height three can shoot down on height know. two with no penalties, right. you know. Or shoot um, over. Or shoot over. And then does this building block? It does because I'm height three. The building is height three. But if the building is height two, then it doesn't block. And then the other thing is with the 50% obscured, 25% obscured, yeah, like 75% obscured, I don't, obscured, like, that. I don't like that at all. Is uh, either Mantic is or does, not. No, Mantic does, does any part of my base, can I draw yeah. a line I, from I any like part too. of mine to any part of yours, right? Yeah. If I can, then you get no cover yeah. at all. Yeah, I like If it. I can't, then you do get cover yeah. or you're blocked completely. I don't really care for the different levels. I mean, one level, all the way up, or all, or no level. But I don't know. Yeah, it's one of those compromises. Yeah. It's like, what are you willing to compromise on? It, 
I just don't, I don't like the 75%, 50%. I have to look down. Is, this thing is tall as shit. Does he really, is this small building really blocking him? You know, come on. It, how how in depth do you want to get it? You know, get right. into it. You know, it's, like, yeah. it's a little just so, make it so, simple. Just so make it like simple. Like I said, yeah. where you have no, the yeah. the tallness points, and you have can I hit any part of your base? Yeah. If any part of your base, if I can't draw a single line to it, because you got to think too that the, 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 the lines? battlefield is is fluid. You know, these things aren't. Stopping and going and, and, and stopping and shooting in this position. The things are right. moving you know, what it and if this it's was fighting, a model, he, you know. would, he would duck, un duck yeah. over and fire. But it's coming know, around. It's firing at the same and time. Goes you know, it's going, you know. So you you, you explain it like that. Yeah, it's it's fluid. Sure. People are moving. Fluid. Things are, you know, you're shooting. You're, you know, body position So that difference. explains the uh, I can draw a single yeah. line from any exactly. part of my base to any part of your base. Yeah. And you're good. But then when would cover ever come into play? When you're complete. When I can't draw like this. Yeah. And then, then yeah. I could still hit you depending on the heights. Yeah. And you would get cover. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that was a side okay. thing. That's our, that's our uh, little We're rant on, on terrain. We're <laughs> trying to fix it. Uh, I, I would like to have a system or I just want to know what system I would like. And I think that's in Mantic Games. Yeah. You know, Dead Zone, I think, gets it. And uh, certain dungeon crawlers. There was this thing where it's like if you draw two lines to any one point on the base. Yeah. I, I can see that. If you can draw two lines from your square into one, into any point on the other square. But that's when you're on a grid. Yeah. I'm just not into the percentages, man. I, I don't like math. It's All right. Like, is it? You're, you're well, I'm fucking lost. What your am I 50 doing? percent is. Different from my so 50%, you move, maybe. right? Anyway, all right, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this you're gonna fire. all about movement. You go. No, I still have more movement. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, I because I move my two. Yeah. Uh, you move this one, and you have the. So now it's time three. to move these little guys. And uh, you move this one too. So you got to move those two. Okay. So uh, we will. Let's do uh, the. Let's push my this guy Reaver, here to yeah. do a sidestep. At full fucking speed. No. Awesome. I'm not even using a thing. So I can go nine inches that way. So what's that? So uh, half of nine. Four is, and a half. Let's just say four and a half. So we go four and a half. And then turn 45. And then I'm going to turn 45. With this tool go zhich. Actually, you can you can I turn can all two, you two can turn, turns. Yeah, two yeah, we'll, You can we'll do three turns actually, but no. Three, so three I maneuvers. actually figured out we were playing that one wrong. Um, that's another power. That's another surge. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. You can only do one or the other. Okay. And it, you could do them both, but you're surging twice. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, and then these little Questorus knights they move up to ten and they can go anywhere. So, um, so as long as they end up within three of each other. So I was thinking we can come around or we go this way. Let's go around your back here. So let's go four uh, and six. Uh, and then I guess we have to put the rest of them like that. And that's it for movement. Now we go on to the damage control phase. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> I will try to raise my shields on this guy. Um, I need a six to raise the shields. Ooh, almost got it. Uh, but yeah. no, nothing. Uh, my Reaver, uh, he's pretty much good. I just, I'll get the plasma back. Yeah, get the plasma back. Okay, my Warlord Titan has taken a bunch of shield damage. I'm about to lose shields. So let me roll four dice for all my servitors. I can only raise one. the shield by one. Yeah. Damn. Anything else? Uh, I'm going to do my Warlord Titan and just try to get his plasma back. One. Yeah, just one. 
Okay, my Reaver, I'm venting plasma. I need fours. I can only vent one plasma, the one that I just used to slide, okay. to strafe. All right, All right here we go. Uh, let's go into combat phase. I'm shooting first. What would be the most advantageous shot? Uh, does your Reaver have shields? It does. Full shields. Full shields. So both of your guys are at full shields. Yeah. All right. It's just going to take a lot of shit to bring it down. All right. Let's do the... What do I think is going to die first? Uh, I'll fire with my Warhound Titan because I'm not sure he can survive. So he's doing his Flamer. And that is three dice automatically hits mm -hmm. uh, at strength sevens. Oh, yeah. Seven. We need to see where it hits. It hits to your body. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Does ten to your body hit you? Uh, yes. Those okay. Uh, seven plus four. Uh, does eleven to your yeah, body hit you? another one. And then six plus seven. That's thirteen. Thirteen plus two. It's fifteen. Um because of critical hit yeah because of the pluses on the bottom they start adding those too okay so, so it is one critical hit your yeah. body has been stripped and yeah. you have three critical hit points and well, two, two left. left yeah got it i'm just trying to figure out how do we word these you know because yeah, in it's warhammer it's very easy yeah. it's like i have two wounds left yeah and yeah. this one it's harder to it's, say it's very it's very convoluted um Basically, two hit points left. Basically, yeah, we could just yeah. say two critical hit points left. Yeah. on the body. Yeah. So that that was pretty good. Now yeah. I'm gonna try. So there's the flamer. Now you got. Now two. I should fire at your you body. You can maximize it too. Oh, that's right. There's two dice. Yeah, two dice for so that. So I'll plasma. I'll, pla I'll maximize. I'll, I'll maximize it. Oh Maximal. no. That stupid thing, which may or may not be good, right? Yeah, may or may not be good. Two. Uh, the two on... Stalwart. Yeah. Uh, make a repair roll for the Titan. It, so I think they're all... No, wait, hold on. Is that where I need to roll? Uh, not all of them are good. Or most of them aren't good. Where, where are they? Yeah, you're right. Stalwart. Make a no, repair. No, because that's a D6, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I rolled a D. I rolled a D10. I oh. need to roll a D6. D6. Five. That's predatory. Choose one of the Titan's weapons at random using a table on its weapon hit location. Uh, if that weapon has been disabled, or if there are no enemy units within firing, treat this as a result of belligerent instead. Otherwise, the Titan attacks with the chosen weapon, targeting the nearest enemy within its war arc, and use. So it's a free attack. Yeah. Uh, so. Choose one of the Titan weapons at random. Okay, so one to two, my flamer again, or one to three, my flamer again, and and four to six, my the gun that I'm trying to fire. Yeah. So the gun that I'm trying to fire, I'll get to fire again. Yeah. At ballistic skill four, but we need to finish off what we're doing right now, which is the normal firing. Uh, you still have shields. Yep. So two hits to your shield. And then, fuck it. Uh, you have full shields. I'll no. fire again no. at weapons. You're within two. Oh, okay. So, so no shield. So no shield. Well, then I... Okay, okay. So, so here are the damage. So what is the strength of the plasma? You're the only one that knows uh, it. Cause we card. Each roll hit of one. It hit twice, right? Yeah. Now I just rolled again, and I'm I'm trying to do. Armor yeah. So damage. what do you have? It, it's a five and a, a three. S no, not six. It's a. Here it is. Uh, it's a strength eight, but because you maximize it, it goes up to strength ten. So you have a five, fifteen, and a thirteen. My God, a but fifteen and a thirteen. Roll, yeah, to roll your location. Head. Head. 15 to your head. Isn't that a critical? 15 is a devastating, which is okay. 1, 2. And then a critical 1. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
Fucked you up. But guess what? Uh, that was the first shot. Yeah. So you here's get another the second. One. This is at a ballistic skill of four. All right. So only one. This goes uh, through the shield. The one. Hold on, though. You rolled a I one. I did maximize. Do it. Yeah. Reroll armor hits of. No, that's yeah, reroll armor hits of one, not ballistic no. skills of one. You didn't maximize the second one. It's just a normal shot. Okay. So it's a six plus. So the highest plus I plus eight. Do. So it's fourteen. It's not plus eight. It's plus ten because no, I'm, you I didn't, didn't maximize, maximize the second one. All right. It's just a regular shot. Um, but roll. Why don't location. I maximize the second one? I can maximize the second one. It's a free shot. You can't maximize something that's free. Yeah. Okay. Um, roll the roll the location for this one. Weapon. Weapon. So 14 on a weapon destroys a weapon. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does. Oh, you got the cards for the Reaver. Didn't I? Well, there's just how many cards? There's just do one, two, three, four, yeah. five, six. Well, Volcano is one, two. Okay. Volcano Th then. Volcano is destroyed. Okay. Remember that because I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> Uh, well, here's how I can remember it. These are magnetized. Yeah, they are. No, oh, the other geez. one's a volcano. No, this is the Gatling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so sh I guess I'm going to shoot the Gatling. Okay. At him. Okay. There we go. The Gatling has a plus one. Wow, right? I plus fucked range. you up. I didn't expect to do that much damage to you. Plus one at close range, right? What? For the Gatling? Yes. Yeah, so twos. Four hits. Yeah. All right. Well, you're within my shield, so just yeah, roll so those roll again. Those again. Uh, so okay, give me a locate. Or here, I'll give you a location. Oh, the Gatling is five. Strength five. Strength five. But what's uh? The ordinance. Ordinance. Yeah. It's a so Gatling blaster. So the ones reroll. Is that ordinance? What ordinance yeah. Is? So four. So that's nines are not going to do anything. All right. You want it to hit the legs. Got the body. The body. body's all right, too. Is the body damaged It's already at damaged. At so a it's a plus, plus one. one. So that, that'll be tens. These will be tens. This will be 11. And this will be, what, 12? Uh-huh. So, so uh, let's do the first the, one. Here's the 10. Yeah. Okay. And then here's another 10. Yeah. And then uh that's what, 11? 11, yeah. It's still a direct hit, yeah. but I'm on my last one now. So that when adds a plus three. When you get to red, do you add here? Yeah. Yeah. The first time you get to red the or the first time you leave the red? The first time you get, get our, to red, yeah. it is a critic, right? Well, I don't know. Well, you got to red with the three, with three, and now it goes to critical. That's correct. So you're right. You're right. And then this goes up here. No. It go back one. Okay. And now it goes yeah. that one. Right. So when you first reach the red space, it doesn't do anything. Right. Okay. It's just telling you that's the last space. That's the last one on there. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, chat. I know this game is hard to follow, you know, especially when I'm not like showing everything and we're like figuring it out. So it's probably a terrible view experience. Most of these miniatures games, when you figure them out, it is a terrible view experience yeah. until we know what to do and then <laughs> right. we're, we're like explaining it out loud. Okay. But it's, but this one, I mean, it's this, a little this one's learning curve is it's very one of fast. the very. It's, yeah. it's just. Uh, how do I describe? It's uh, not complex. Well, it's just uh, there's a little. There's a lot there's of stuff. Little to it. There's a lot to it. There's it's a, not lot. a lot to it. There's, there's not a lot. even a lot to it. <laughs> it's just us trying to learn it. That's that's all of it, really. And the, there's not a there's lot. There's lots to of it. pluses and minuses. I mean, we've only we've opened. We literally opened a book like three hours ago. I know. And we started playing. Okay. Like a full game. Right, you know, so I'm getting it. I'm getting yeah, it. Yeah, we're both we're both getting we're both learning. It's like all right. So I didn't blow up. You didn't blow up. Okay, now and it's your go. Your fire. So uh, my fire then. Um, Actually, those guys could probably. Yeah, take that's him out. what I'm gonna try to. If do you kill now. him, I'm the. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if two, you kill him, I'll four, fuck it. I'll six. tap it out. Yeah. It is ridiculous. So here are the quest door. I think you cheated. 
Okay, I cheated. Uh, plus one. Just, so th- I won the first one though, chat. With our 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 learning 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 game. Oh my god, you're obsessed first. with winning. <laughs> yeah, that was a training game that didn't matter. So three plus. I'm to not hit. obsessed with any. Yeah, I'm just are. obsessed with beating you. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> just as good. Um, so five five successful hits to your shields. Do you have any shields left? Yeah, I do actually. He has he has full shields. So five. Yeah, how can he have full? Sh- because oh, you I'm you've been within two, within two. two, right? Yeah, these guys are outside right, five, of two. Five shield hits from all those little knights. Save, 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 save. So two get through. Three save. How many shields do you have left after that? Uh, I go down two, one, two. I've got two left. All right. Damn. All right, your turn. All right. Let's go with Big Bertha. Big Bertha. We'll, we'll try to take out old fucking uh, Warhound. Okay. So was that 10 on the missile launcher? Yeah. At a three. Three ballistic skills. And I'm going to say that since my guy is not up against that terrain yeah you, you can see him so no negatives all right so threes yeah so six hits six hits i have no shields by the way yeah. so what let's determine the location yep weapon weapon so that's good for me because yeah it's like i won't die maybe so i have an inferno gun and i have the um Whatever. So Inferno Gun is one through three. Okay. So my now, my uh, you have the card for that. Yeah. So uh, on those, s- how many successful hits? So six. that was how many hit five, me? Uh, five? Six. Six. Success. Six of the ten hit me. Yeah. Okay. So you're given six hits to the right arm. Yeah. So nine. Once you destroy nine or plus, it's disabled. Right. Roll all six of those dice. And then, and then once you disable it, then any it goes critical to hits can start m- fucking me up. So you you hit hit a nine. All right. So what's the strength of each missile? You, you got the card on the missiles. The Is missiles fours? are fours. They're pretty bad. So one nine. One nine. Yeah. And okay, so really it just ripped off one of my guns. Yeah. So one disabled. of my guns goes to disable. So I was like, wow, that's the best thing that could have happened to me because all of the ten okay, so hit my This is what you do for uh, this so subsequent this ones. And it wouldn't have happened here because okay. of the w- weak strength. So once it gets disabled and I say I hit it again, nine through twelve is a detonation of the weapon. And then that starts doing damage to, to the body. The body mm-hmm. Yeah, at a strength of whatever it says right there. Clear your dot. Yeah. There we go. All right, so the two. You still have two guns. Two guns. Uh, again, uh, threes. Yeah, one dice each. Threes. <laughs> of course. Are you kidding me? I haven't. Mi- <laughs> that's that's two rounds. <laughs> I, ha- I haven't hit with those fucking guns. Okay. Oh, my God. Do you concede? I or do. Or do you want me to I blow do. up I the reaver? I do. I do. Well. All right, let me blow up blow the up reaver. the reavers because maybe I could. It'll blow everybody sure. else up. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. All right, so, so I'll take my reaver and blow up your reaver. Hopefully, if we could do it. And if you do that, yeah, and it blows everybody else up. Sure, I might win. Wow. Okay. So six dice. Um, but only if it blows everybody. If else within up. eight inches, I don't think that's eight inches. So yeah, it's not eight. Three. No. So three hits. Cool. You 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 have some shields left, right? Yeah, I do. So roll three two. hits against your shields. Save. All of your shields. Save it. Volcano cannon. Uh, that hits. Yep. Does hit. So one shield roll. Save. Your shields are saving on threes right now. No, they're not. Oh no no they're four. Saving on okay. Four. So it goes down one. So it goes down one. Yeah. And um, I still have the warp missile, right? Didn't I use, Didn't no, I use just, it? What did I use it, use it on, on uh, the hound? To kill him? Yeah. You well, killed him. Yeah, you killed, the, you killed the hound. The card is upside down. 
Um, I think you just keep on flipping it back and forth. Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> Whatever you say, Jay. Uh, that's I, it then. I, I kid. Your turn. I kid. I kid. Whatever you kid, Jay. You can't take everything so seriously. Relax. Are you finished, Jay? I am finished. Good game. Okay. For your first game. <laughs> for, your, for your very first game and my very first game. <laughs> All right. Um, well, no. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I guess I got my war hound left, but or my war lord, but he's not going to do. I mean, you could shoot the two two things to him uh, if you wanted to. Well, actually, you could hit him with the missiles, knock his shields down. All right. Let's see. let's knock his shields down. And well, then from just, there, you just need two hits on his body. So this is a negative w two, right? Because cause I, I yeah. can't do it, actually, because I'm not in your arc. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so that wouldn't have been able to do Well, shoot the two. Um, two arms? Yeah. Both no. missed. <laughs> Both missed. All right. All right, this is Good over. Game. Good game. This is over. So, um, I whooped your ass. Yeah. Uh, tell me what your what? secret. What I whooped your ass. Tell me what your secret uh, you mission was. You won. Win gracefully. Jay, don't, Win gracefully. don't cry. Do Win, not cry. Win I gracefully. whooped your ass. That Be shouldn't gentleman. hurt your feelings. It doesn't. I whooped your ass. <laughs> your ass got a whooped. <laughs> I don't have to say he your did. ass got a whooping when your ass got a whooping. He cheated. He's loaded dice and everything. Jay, tell me your secret mission. Uh, it's hold the line. And what does that do? So basically, um, I get five points because nobody's within freaking. Uh, uh oh, wrong. My Questorus knights at the last minute went within twelve. What? I would have got more because it was. So you got five points. That's it. Yeah, because I didn't kill anything else. I would have got, got even. I would have got 15 points if those two were out of here. Can you put it on the green screen? That seems pathetic. Yeah, it's only 15 points, but then you get half points for everything that you kill. I didn't okay. kill anything. Okay. So. So Jay got. Can you put it on the green screen? Yeah. So that first part. Yeah, five points. Okay, so five points. All right. And you would have got 15 points if there was nothing within there. All right. And then also, half points for everything you killed? All right. How do we determine half of what? So Half points of uh, your... Half of what? Your scale. Oh, half of my scale yeah. for things you blow up. Yeah. All right, pull it off. So you got five. Mine, I had a choice of choosing one of my... Um, one of my titans to walk off your side of the map. Uh -huh. uh, where that would have been good, actually. Uh, retrieval, right? Yeah, let me see. So retrieval, if I walked it off your side of the map, then... No. No, where did the card go? Was it retrieval? Where's the other ones? Oh, or vital cargo. It was vital cargo. Yeah, mine was retrieval. I'm sorry. So if the cargo is secured, I would have scored 15 points. If the cargo is not secured, but there are no enemy units within 12 inches of the Titan that I secretly marked, I get five victory points. At the end of the battle, the player with this objective scores victory points equal to the scale of each of their Titans that are in the enemy's deployment zone. So, if I had chosen that card, believe it or not, I would have got zero points. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but I chose, but, but I would have obviously been trying to move a guy Yeah, off. yeah, yeah. But I chose uh, just the straight up engage and and destroy, like the easiest one. Yeah. At the end of the battle, score victory points for each enemy unit that is structurally compromised or completely destroyed. Destroyed on the scale. So because I destroyed your, um, let's say your warhound first, which was at a scale six. Yeah. So that would have been ten victory points right there. And then I destroyed the Questorus knights. Which I don't understand how to do that one. I don't think they have a scale, do they? They do. 
Scale three. Yeah, so they get so that's three. Grandis. But are they three each buddy? No, it's I think it because there's one no. night, two night, four nights. I think it's I think they're three each buddy. There's no way. Okay. Three to four would be six victory points. So we'll, oh, we'll just count it know. once. Skill. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It yeah. might be three for each. Because if you kill that's, three, then so why that's nine victory points if you, would you kill always three. Go, you would always go after those. Or six victory points for killing one warlord. Yeah, you would always go after yeah. I, I don't know. I yeah, don't know what it is. Yeah. Let's assume that it's just one yeah. for the whole squad. So that's 16. And then um, secondary objectives. At the start of the battle, the player calculates the total of their scale of units. If they have at least half of their starting total, they score five more. So since you didn't blow up any of mine, I get five more. So 21 to 5. That's an ass whooping. 21. What was the last five for? The last five was the secondary objective, which total up the scale of oh, all yeah. your units. If you have at least half of their starting total at the end of the battle, then score five more victory points. So that mission was super easy. It was yeah, su it super straightforward. So I could have just stayed behind all the, the buildings and fired. And the, yeah, because I, I would have only got 15. Right. Even if you did stay behind the buildings. Mm -hmm. And I'd have to... My secondary was to destroy stuff. and So you would have had to... I would have had to... Destroy stuff. So let's say you destroyed the Warhound, right? Yeah. It's scale six. You would only, I only get three. three. Yeah. That shit is hard, man. Yeah. Your mission is hard. But uh, what's the other what's one? What's crazy you is the re this is the retrieval. The retrieval is you put a, uh, an objective marker down, and then I have to get to it, and then it's like a crew, and they get on the thing, mm -hmm. right? But if you put the objective I get marker to down, put it down, yeah. Right? But if you put it down, it has uh -huh. to be within six of the okay. the center line. But if you put it, you know what freaking object? Uh, what I'm going after? Right. You know my freaking uh. Mission yeah. objective. And then that's 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 so sure? stupid. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I put an objective down, Retrieve. regardless of what I have to do with it, you know, I have to get to it or right. something, right? Right. Immediately after determining the deployment method, the choosing of the opposing player places the objective marker from a plastic shoe within six inches of the battlefield to represent the fallen Titans group. If a Titan belonging to another, yeah, I would know it. Yeah, exactly. What about secondary? At the end of the battle, score two victory points for each destroyed enemy unit with a scale of four or less, and four victory points for each destroyed enemy unit with a scale of five or more. That's garbage. That's a too. little better. I mean, a little. A little better. But they, these were little. definitely a little bit. Uh, I think what I did is I got the easiest one. Yeah. That engage and destroy. Because yeah. all you have to do is just shoot. Well, plus you you, you did pretty good uh, killing stuff. Yeah. And I, in this, I think if that you, maneuver over here was massive. Where you moved your guys yeah. out in the open, and, and I had the initiative, and then I moved my guys in front of yours and shot you twice. Well, the the initiative, yeah, and that's the other thing. Or basically hit you with one weapon and then hit you with the second. Yeah, weapon. it's like you you get to shoot and melee at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't know if I like that part. I think I'm okay with it. Uh, mm. it, it seems like uh, it's a, that's a lot of. I mean, I would. I would equip everything. <laughs> I would take. <laughs> yeah, I you would take, take a bunch of the little. Guys? I would take more little guys, mm -hmm. and I would equip everything with some kind of melee weapon. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Because that's all you would want yeah, to do. Yeah, I wonder. Run I wonder I what the run. meta of the game is. Yeah. But I guess it just well. Here's how they balance it out: is with those missions. Yeah. Because you Definitely. take a bunch of. Yeah, because I mean, not everything you have to do is kill everybody else, right? I mean, it's but extra look at points. how easy it is, Jay, to kill these little ones. I know it's super it's just easy. One, two, three, four, and they're gone. And y you're not like recharging especially, shields and especially repairing shields. Me so I think your your That's strategy would not work if you just a bunch of the little guys. Not a bunch of them, but I mean, I'd take more than just the one set. Mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. All right. Well. um... Yeah, that's it. That's uh, Adeptus Titanicus. Did you like it or hate it? I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. Um, I think I 
I liked it a lot as we were learning it. Then as we were playing it, I liked it. There's there's some a few small things here and there that I think could use tweaks, but that could just get ironed out with repeated plays. Yeah, perhaps. oh yeah. So I'm thinking I would probably put Adeptus Titanicus at maybe for at least for right now, based upon one learning and one full play, a seven. I'm I'm exactly right there with you. Uh, a seven definitely. Seven out of ten. Seven out of, out of ten right now. Um, but you know what? If we were truly reviewing this box set, oh, I would yeah, probably yeah. bring oh, it down yeah. to a six yeah. for those annoying bits. Because yeah. I'm spending hundreds of dollars. I might even bring it down to a five because that right. pisses me off. Right. You, you're the selling this Master as Edition. a two-player starter set, and you give <laughs> enough shit for one player. You, yeah. you have models for two players. This is the Grand Master Edition, which I think was maybe $250 or something. Yeah. Um, now, granted, there was a lot of plastic in it. Yeah. But, I mean, we had to add more we, well, to yeah, fill a battle. We, we had to add more, and we had to share cards. I mean, we that, was, that was wrong. That's and it's the, the cards you know are like this big. It's paper. It would have cost them cents yeah. to print more of those cards. They gave us they gave us double sets of the double sets of everything except everything. for the cards. Yeah. And for the dice, makes no fucking sense. You would but just yeah. need doing. They did Give me a two, couple more. They did two couple d10s. More dice. Yeah. But they didn't do two location dice or two nuclear dice, yeah. right? All right, reactor dice. Yeah. Reactor dice. Now let me make sure of that because I have oh. a second set. Yeah, check the other set. That's wild. There better be two sets. Okay, here we go. Hey, hey. And it could be. Is there? I don't know. Tell me, tell me, tell me. So, what is that dice? There's one Where's reactor dice on the bottom. There's only one reactor dice. Fucking serious. Yeah. Where? And one head dice. And one. And one what? And one. Oh, that's location. That's bullshit. Yeah. So you have two D10s, Why one for each player. I have to fucking share. <laughs> and enough, and enough share. for all the orders for all the things in the set, right? One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait. No, you only have. Four. There's only. Oh, ten. There's, there's, there's only ten because there's a uh, scattered dice. No, there's only six. Six order dice. The oh, rest are these D6. Are the Those are symbols of yeah. D6s. So yeah. there's only what? Six order dice. Six so order dice. Well, how many come how many miniatures come in the set? Um I think that it's So what to Yeah, it's six. It's six. We had extra, remember? Our Arsa had extra. It's two warlord knights and six Questorus knights. So you would only have one warlord and three Questorus yeah. Knights. Yeah. So you would only need two order dice yeah. each. Yeah. So they ha they give you enough order dice, they give you enough D6s, but they don't give you... Well, even, that's even, dumb. even that way, they swap out the two order dice for the other two. Exactly. You know? So okay, well. there's some there's some little bad choices in the box set that make it really, really annoying. A little nitpicky shit, but I mean, overall. That would bring it down. Yeah. But... The game system itself, upon one play, s seven out of ten. The yeah. value of the of Grand Master, I'm gonna I'm gonna say five. Five. Because you're only getting I, I don't know. Yeah, five I, I would say five because it's only it's only average. Yeah, and remember, five average. out of ten this is an average on our scale. You're only getting this and this, right? Mm -hmm. And some buildings, and. Some of the missions are four by six. What the that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna have this guy here and these guys here. What? And then what, what's what? What are we doing here? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Just hanging out. Yeah. I don't know. Now um, I am yeah. curious how uh universe uh or I'm curious now how Legion Imperialis take care of the Titans. Yeah. Right. Well, because they probably don't have these huge boards still, yeah. do they? There's or do they still carry the know. boards over? Yeah. Well, I'm curious about because they said the the aircraft are on different bases. You They're know, on different bases, right? So does that mean uh, they're how, using how different do they work? Rules? Yeah. Are they using different rules for them? Or yeah, I'm curious on how they work, and I, I'm I'm curious about the the tornado. Thank you. 
I don't know when that was, but I wanted to just call you out before we ended the stream. Thank yeah. you, Thorinator. What were you saying? I want. I'm curious on how prevalent the Titans are in Legion Imperial. Yeah, where you know, as this, we had a bunch of different Titans on there. Where in Legion, you're probably only yeah, going to have one. No, one I'm, thing. I want to play with Titans on there and then a bunch of infantry. So I don't know. Maybe your points might be better suited to some tanks. Some stuff that forgot take, about. Tanks. Yeah, there's a, a so aircraft, okay. But, I would you know. say at max three titans, right? You think at max, yeah. not warlords, no. You think? No, I mean, but I'm just saying three different small, three different yeah. units that would be in this game, whether it be three of those guys, one big one, or a reaver, or yeah, a yeah. warlord. You know, a warhound. I know there's two warhounds that come in the starter set, right? Yeah. yeah there's two warhounds, so you can do one for each side. And, um, yeah. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, and the interactions with the inf What's the infantry going to do? <laughs> to, uh, are they going to assault the, you know, uh, Titan, Warlord Titan? Or just get stomped on, you know? What's the interaction going to be like? And what is the ratio of having to do your objectives versus just wiping out the other yeah. army? Because that's always a big question. I think, yeah, I think this is... Uh, <laughs> on the objectives... I think those are a little bit. This they're a little this bit. This game uh, leans more towards objectives than wiping out. Your right, opponent. right. But I think the objectives are not very balanced. I think just like based yours on was, one play, it's hard to say. It's hard to say, but just what I saw right here, mm -hmm. yours was so very so easy. much, so much simpler than so mine. Much simpler, yeah. Yeah. Uh, either of the ones that I had, they yeah. seemed a little bit uh, complicated to get a, a full, full points value out of it. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad that we bought, bought it because we have these badass miniatures yeah. and the terrain for the upcoming Legion Imperialis. So I'm right. glad that GW said, yes, where you can use these older yeah. specialist one of, game stuff in the new thing. One of the best things they, they, they've done. Uh, yeah, really, really enjoy that. And my hope is that in, in Legion Imperialis, they simplify these things so it's not so complex. You can, If you want the detail of this, play this game. Yeah. But if you make it faster, then you know the game can flow a little better. Right. And I want, I want faster games from GW, but yet I still want that huge experience. Right. And we'll right. see if it could do it. All right. Well, that's going to be it for us tonight. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And uh, let's see. Um, next Wednesday, what are we gonna do? So, I, you know, um, this month we will be playing Legion Imperialis. Yeah. Okay. I think it comes out in sometime in I'm I'm not sure when. Yeah. I'm not no if I'm I'm not don't know if I'm supposed to say. <laughs> we know uh, when, but we, know yeah. when, but we can't say. We can't say I, I don't know if it's common knowledge when it comes out, but I want to. I'm going to play Legion Imperialis sometime this month, and so next Wednesday, what I was thinking, Jay, mm -hmm. is that we play Epic 40K. Yeah. Now, that's right. Yeah, I bought a bunch of Epic 40K, yeah. and uh, I'll try to have the two armies set up. Are we going to do? Because the problem is. Which edition are right, we going to do? So the problem is. Um, it's very complex, and it hair you, you tear your hair out trying to create a battle force. Yeah. So I need to spend a few hours, maybe over this coming weekend, getting that and just having it ready yeah. and yeah, putting them fine. in two boxes so that we could just, boom, put them out. Yeah. Because me and Patrick, a while ago, this was maybe two months ago, tried to play it just from scratch yeah. and bringing all the miniatures, and we, like, gave up. <laughs> because it was it was really bad. They, they, I mean, these systems are twenty to thirty years old. Those two. yeah yeah. So um, well, and it, and then there's a big uh, difference between yes. uh, the third so edition I and think, the second edition. I think the edition that we're gonna play is actually the first edition. So we're gonna space, actually play space, space marine. marine. Yeah, I think that's and, the better. And better. then there's Warhammer forty thousand uh, or Epic. Yeah. It's uh, what Space Marine Epic, epic and then, and then forty thousand, the, yeah. and then there's a third edition which is Armageddon forty yeah. k, yeah. Epic, or it's no, it's called Epic Armageddon, and then there's a fourth edition which isn't official. It's yeah, not it's even the, fourth. The it's fan, net the fan epic. one. Yeah, and I think it kind of brings back 
a mixture of the two. Yeah, I think we should go with the first one. I so, think. yeah, we'll go with the first one kind of, you know, because we're trying to play all the different games, workshop games, you and me, just yeah. for our knowledge and, you know, where they've been, where they've come from. So we're going to be like, oh, I've seen back in the day and 20 years ago, did, yeah. did, did. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we'll be like the most fucking versed people ever because so far we played them all. Um, you haven't played Warcry still, right? We did. We played a couple games. Though. You played a couple games of Warcry? Me and you played a couple games of Warcry. Okay, I'm just making sure because I can't, I can't remember. That was you played the big brute guys. Yeah, yeah. And then I yeah. played the. We played. What did I play? We played two or three games, and that. Yeah. No, tell me about them. Yeah, we did. Tell me which. Warcry. Are you talking about Kill Team? No, Warcry. Warcry. Who did you play? I played the um, golems. Yes, the golems. The golem. And then you played. And there the was snake, that one big guy. You got mad at me because I yeah. netted him. I remember that. Yeah, but then he went over there and smashed that one dude in one shot, and you got pissed off. Yeah, <laughs> but that's the only game I remember. I think we only played it one. No, time. No, we played twice. I think we played twice. That day. Probably that day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because that's the other one I want to get back to. Yeah. Because I as I'm continuing again. to play these things, I'm still thinking that Warcry is that nine out of ten. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was fast. It was furious. It got it what it done, and I've slowly been building up my Warcry war bands, mm -hmm. you know, on the side. So, all right, guys. All right. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. We'll see you back here tomorrow for RoboCop with the boys, and um. Yeah, and I've I filmed some of the Spider-Man stuff, so we've got that as well. Spider-Man review coming up. And uh, I think there's other things that are out, which don't matter because we're focusing on RoboCop. There's early access on Modern Warfare 3 for people that mm. pre-order or spend more money. You can play the campaign early. Um, <laughs> and then what else? There's Alan Wake 2 we still need to finish. Quite a bit. Yeah. But, all right. See you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye.